everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you make your picks every single time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. Before we get into some NBA action for April the 3rd, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP Club section, which has all the tools that you will need to make your picks. So, as you get ready to end the NBA regular season coming up pretty soon, the teams are still vying for position and they want to be playing their best ball heading into the playoffs. So let's take a look at some of the games for April the 3rd. The Dallas Mavericks and the Milwaukee Bucks. Both teams head into play burning hot on the team strength oscillator. You can see that uh, Dallas has won five out of their last six, while Milwaukee has won four out of their last six. If you look at the over-under, you can see that Dallas has been involved in games over the line in two out of their last six, as well as Milwaukee two out of their last six. A good indication to probably go with the under on this one. Uh, the score prediction has Milwaukee by a very comfortable 122 to 110 margin with about 59% level of confidence in prediction. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you can see Dallas is at plus 27, while Milwaukee is at plus 25, so very close in that uh, category as well. If you look at the stability factor, how consistent have the two teams been performing with regards to their favorite underdog status? You can see both teams are on an upward trend and both teams are very stable. Dallas at plus 31, while Milwaukee is at plus 23. It's a good indication of going with the favorite underdog status in this one. I do like the Bucks in a tight game. This should be a very good game. This could actually go into overtime. And I like a game, uh, I know it's going against the, the trend, but I kind of like the, this game going over the line simply because I think this game will go into overtime. And an overtime game will put the point total up. I like the Bucks in overtime going over the line. Washington and Boston. Denver and the Los Angeles Lakers. The Lakers are going nowhere fast. Dead status at the moment. Losers of five out of their last six. While Denver is burning hot, winners of their last three and winners of four out of their last six. If you look at the over-under, you can see that Denver's been involved in games going over the line in four out of their last six, while the Lakers have been involved in games over the line in five out of their last six. Good indication to bet the over. Uh, the score prediction is Denver by 14 points, 124 to 110, with a very high level of confidence of 90%. The power rankings indicator also shows that Denver has a clear advantage at plus 24, going on an upward trend. While the Lakers at plus 12, as of March 23rd, have dropped to uh, plus 6. The stability factor, how consistent are they performing? Both teams performing very consistently according to their favorite underdog status. You see plus 25 for the Lakers, plus 21 for Denver. Although the Lakers are home, Denver's a better team. I think Denver will be a road favorite. I like Denver to win this one in a game going over the line. Detroit and Indiana, New York and Orlando, Philadelphia and Cleveland. Let's take a look at the 76ers and the Cavaliers. Philadelphia has been struggling. They have blown their last three games and are coming off an embarrassing game against Detroit. No other way to put it. Losing to a 20-win uh, Detroit team. So, But I think that they have a good chance to rebound this one, and we'll talk about why. Sixers are averaged down at the moment, 3-3 three and three over the last six. Cleveland is dead status. Losers of five out of their last six. So Cleveland's just playing terrible basketball really at the moment. Uh, Philadelphia has been involved in games going over the line in four out of their last six, which is the same as Cleveland. So this could be a high-scoring game. The score prediction has Philadelphia by 14 points, expecting them to bounce back with about 59% level of confidence. And the power ranking indicator, even though Philadelphia has been playing poor lately, they are still a, quite a bit higher than Cleveland at plus 21 compared to plus 11. The stability factor also shows that both teams have been pretty consistent. Cleveland plus 27, Philadelphia plus 19. Cleveland, the, the, the odds aren't out there yet. The line isn't out there yet. But Cleveland very well could be a home underdog in this one. I feel like Philadelphia to win in a game going over the line. Milwaukee, excuse me, Miami and Toronto. We're not going to take a look at that one. Minnesota and Houston. Phoenix and Oklahoma City. See, it's a full slate of games. We're going to take a look at just a few of them. The last one we're going to, have to look at here is Golden State and Sacramento. The Warriors come in dead status. Losers are five out of their last six. They need to get back on track. While the Kings are average, they have won three out of their last four and three and three over their last six. Golden State has been involved in games over the line in three out of their last six, while Sacramento has been involved in high-scoring games in five out of their last six. 
The score prediction has Sacramento by 9 points, 121 to 112, with about 79% level of confidence. It's a pretty high level of confidence. Um, the power ranking indicator has Golden State at plus 20 on a downward trend. And on a downward trend also for Sacramento, they were at 10 and they have dipped down to plus 6. Are they consistently performing? Well, pretty much. But you see here that um, it was Golden State, they were up to plus 20 and they have dipped, and then they're back up to plus 20, and Sacramento's at plus 22. So a little bit less consistent lately for Golden State. It's because they haven't been playing well, and they've been losing as favorites, and that has been the reason for that. But I think this one, I do like the Kings. The Warriors are just struggling too much. I like the Kings at home in a tight game, perhaps needing overtime to do so. And I also think this will be a higher scoring game to a bet over. So there you have it. Those are the games that we wanted to take a look at for NBA for April 3rd. Happy betting, and we'll see you again next time.